Hello and welcome to Exploring the Holos. Today I want to talk about why I can't be normal. And that's a question that I often get mainly by my family because they, I think it usually centers around my choice to not eat meat. And I think the motivation behind this question is in the convenience to them, which shows a lack of understanding as to why I no longer eat meat. Um, it's not just one reason. The main reason being that I understand that we are all beings of the same mind. We are all reflections of the one and otherness is really just an illusion and humans are for the most part 99% of humanity is still stuck at the level of consciousness or awareness as of of just self-awareness as just a analog eye they're aware of themselves that they have a self that's separate from others and that's where it stops the next level of consciousness above that is the analog all where you realize that we are more than just ourselves we have more than just this individual persona we are also everything and religion and science right now has not caught up to the metaphysical and quantum mechanical reality of mind that everything comes from a source of light all matter is created by our minds combined thoughts our subconscious thoughts create matter and it doesn't stop with just humans all minds all animals have minds i.e. souls if you want to look at it from the religious point of view and we create these bodies to experience this physical domain and so there really is no difference between animals and people so well, it's really hard to explain this to people who are brainwashed into thinking it's okay to eat other animals and to kill for their sustenance if you went any amount of time without eating meat it would become abundantly clear to you that meat is disgusting and it looks and smells like murder and uh, yes plants are sentient but it's a different level of consciousness so uh, collective awareness is what I strive to convey through these videos and to my friends and family and it seems like it's going nowhere they want to talk and not listen and uh, it really shows the amount of respect they have for my opinion and uh, you know to be fair I don't think I respect their religious opinions or the materialistic science 
that doesn't uh, recognize quantum physics, um, something that's well over 100 years old, hasn't been addressed. And uh, it's, it makes it very difficult to convey unity and oneness when you have two opposing factions fighting for dominance. And these opposing factions both push individualism and materialism. Even religion is kind of materialistic when you think about it. You know, they want to say that there's a heaven and a hell, but they, I mean, from what I've heard, they kind of make it sound like it's an actual real place. So that's not metaphor anymore. The people who worship and believe have no understanding of metaphor or irony. They completely believe wholeheartedly that these places and these evil entities are material things. <laughs> so it makes it difficult to not makes it difficult to be normal when you look at how much different I see the world than them. I'm trying to exist in their world and I'm trying not to push them too far away from me. I sometimes will give little snippets of what I believe, but there's a lot of cognitive dissonance that just cuts their minds off instantly from what I'm trying to say. And uh, that is part one of why I can't be normal. And uh, I think I'm going to continue this with at least one more part, and that's going to come out next weekend. The other part of why I can't be normal is religion. And I think I kind of went into it a little bit in this video, but um, I'll get more into that. So, Ad Astro, my friends. I'll see you next time. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and uh, hopefully we'll be traveling again here soon. I'm working on getting things ready. It takes a lot of money, so I need to put in the hours at work for now. But have a safe 4th of July weekend and uh, or week. Have a safe 4th of July Tuesday, and I'll see you next time. Bye.